being on time is being late. Right. You know, like that's just something that that's a value of ours that we hold high. And my son said ours was eat the veggies first. The veggies right? first. <laughs> and I was like, oh yeah, that is something we've said a lot. Yeah, eat the veggies first. That's you should get that on a sign for your kitchen. Well, it's fun when they reflect back at you and when so much of it is fitness and health related. When I feel like we can't keep going or when I have felt like that in the past or when I wasn't sure we'd get the permits or when we wasn't sure the money would come mm -hmm. through or wasn't sure, you know, whatever the issue was, it was like, what will happen to my people? Right. Like what will happen to her? What will happen to them? Uh, no one else can do what we do. So we will figure this out. Like, yeah. and we do that all the time. Like we're mothers and we're daughters and we don't just stop mothering because mm -hmm. things get hard. You buckle in and figure it out. And you do that their whole life. It's not just when they're babies and it's not just when they're, you know, when they're teens and when they're in college and when you don't know how that's gonna go, like you just keep taking one more step. Yeah. yeah. Well, and like we said, you changed the blueprint for your family and you're helping other people do the same. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you have clients that have kids that have now changed their whole life. Their whole life. With fitness and nutrition. You're really into mm -hmm. nutrition. Yes. I know that. Yes. I know you're a nutrition expert. Yep. Well. Um, well, you are. <laughs> I'm you a nutrition are. expert. And yes. nutrition is a big part of it too. And a part that, you know, that's totally separate than fitness. I mean, they go, they go together, but sometimes you can be working out in the gym five days a week, but your nutrition isn't right. And that's really hard, but that's an area that you can help with your family, with your kids. Absolutely. Because when your kids are young, they need to start those habits young. I know for me, like even this morning, so it, daylight savings is messing with our family. <laughs> and I just keep asking God when it's going to stop. Um, but my daughter got up at 530 and wanted a Lunchable. And so I said, okay, sure, we can have a Lunchable. But it was the gummy worms that she wanted. Of course. And yes. so as I'm opening it, I'm like, no, you're not having the gummy worms. Mommy's going to put those somewhere else and we can have those after lunch today. And I'm just thinking to myself, like how many kids, like those foods are in their life, like no matter, it's not intentional, like a Lunchable cheese and crackers, like mm -hmm. that's not, and ham, like that's not bad, mm -hmm. but it's the gummies. Like why do they have to put the gummies in why there? Why do they have to yeah, put why the, do they gummies put the gummies in there? In there? <laughs> it's in front of them all the time, which is creating those like nutritional habits and your household is so hard, but it's so important when they're little. So important when they're little. Yeah. I was just talking to my daughter about this the other day. She said, um, how did you make us such good eaters? Cause it yeah. was just, it's just been their life, right? right. And I told her, that when my sister and I had our, our babies one day apart, um, our first that is babies. So, fun. so she had her so boy and then I together. had my boy. Yes. And I was her coach. So big and pregnant. Um, and then when they, so of course they were going through all of these same stages yeah. together. And when my son Harrison, like it was time for solids, I was like spinach, like it, I was like, there was no applesauce, yeah. there was no bananas, <laughs> no sugar. like there was none of it. I was like, no, he's yeah. gonna learn how to eat. And I Veggies. was super crazy about it. But, and you know, in retrospect, maybe a little far over, but also um, like it, it worked out for us. Yeah. Um, it was really important to me. Um, we talk about like mantras in people's homes mm -hmm. and we were, were, I was reading this book with my teens um, and they talked about like what the soundtracks are in your home. Mm -hmm. Things that you just kind of say all the time, yeah. like being on time is being late. Right. You know, like that's just something that that's a value of ours that we hold high. Um, and my son said ours was um, eat the veggies first. Eat the veggies right? first. <laughs> and I was like, oh yeah, that is something we've said a lot. Yeah, eat the veggies first. That's you should get that on a thing. sign for your kitchen. Right. It was cute. It's fun when they reflect back at you and when so much of it is fitness and health related, like those things will fuel their whole lives. Like right. it's not about the veggies. No. Right? It's about Making understanding healthy what's choices. healthy for you, right? It's about knowing how you'll feel later. It's not about fat loss even. It's about like, how are you gonna feel after this food? What yeah. do you need to accomplish today and, and how can you make it work for you? Yeah. That's that's great. That's it's funny that they remember like those times and now they're out on their mm -hmm. own and you know they're making healthy choices I, I, because they've been doing it their whole life. Their like whole they life. have their parents to thank for that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's it really is fun. Like I know you have little so yeah. it, it's it, it really is fun um to all of the things, you know, sometimes we teach them things we don't mean to teach them also, right. you know, <laughs> but, but there's so many things that they gather and it's important to talk with them about all of it. Mm -hmm. And, but it's also most important to model it, like having that role model mindset that you're always, yeah. you know, you're always leading by example. Yeah.